guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we'll talk about synthesis of nanomaterials and in this particular video we'll talk about some of the methods that are involved in the synthesis of nanomaterials so in my previous video i've discussed about some of the methods that are involved in the particular synthesis and i'll discuss those methods in details in this particular video so moving on with this so I'll discuss the first method which is on your screen which is ball milling or attrition or mechanical grinding. So this is one of the method of the top down approach. So there are two approaches. So in this video we'll talk about the top down approach. So under top down approach we have the first method which is the mechanical grinding or ball milling or attrition you can say. So moving with that. So the principle of this particular method is reducing the particle size by cutting, etching, grinding and ball milling. So this is just a sheer mechanical process in which you have to reduce a bigger particle size to a smaller particle size. And the bulk elements are milled in an insert low temperature environment. So these are milled or these are uh, impact or these are the size is reduced in a very inert and low temperature environment. Also there are various types of mills. Uh, through which this particular process takes place such as the planetary balls, vibratory, high energy shaker and rod tumbler. So there are different types of mills or different types of grinding techniques so through which this particular method takes place. So their efficiency is directly proportional to the rotational speed. So as fast the speed or as fast the, uh, the motor or you can say the, as far as the blades around the motor revolve, the efficiency will be more. So this is pretty much uh, directly proportional to the size and the number of, mil, uh, number of the balls, time of milling, also inert atmosphere and cryogenic temperature. So efficiency is directly related to all these four factors. So faster the blade revolves around the motor the more will be the efficiency and by efficiency what I mean is the particles will greatly get re reduced to their wanted size. So the bigger particles will be greatly reduced to their smaller size in a very faster manner. A large amount of particles, a large number, large number of big size particles will be reduced to a smaller size as quick the blades of the motor will revolve. Also, it's very much proportional to the size and the number of balls. So these are steel balls, you can say. So these are, so you can say these are motors or you can say these are blades through which uh, these will revolve and uh, the, uh, the gap between which the particles will be uh, grabbed or thrown. All right. So when these uh, particles are thrown between the, uh, between the gap of these two steel balls, these get crushed in between the gap between the steel balls. So bigger the size or, or the number of balls or the more the number of balls of these uh, more the number of balls of these particular grinder the larger will be the efficiency. Also time of milling will be greatly reduced. All right so bigger the size and the, if the time is reduced the efficiency will definitely increase and it is carried out definitely in an inert atmosphere and cryogenic temperature temperature so these two are very two uh, important factors that are involved in the efficiency step and uh, these must be carried out in these two particular steps only to provide the uh, given time period or meet the given time period and to increase the overall efficiency as well also the recovered nanoparticles are of broad size distribution which can be of 10 to 1000 nanometers and of varied shape or geometry so you can see, so now we come to the very short and crisp process of mechanical grinding. So it consists of a container filled with hardened steel or tungsten in carbide balls. So these are the balls you can see. So these are made up of steel you can see or tungsten in carbide balls. So the material of interest is fed as flakes. So two is to, the, two is to one is the ratio of balls to the materials. So there are two balls through which uh, the space between which the materials are fed and they get crushed in between them. Also, the container is filled with inert gas. So this particular ball, so you can say this is the two grinding balls and in between the space, a small piece is there in, through which the material pass. So the entire thing is placed in a container, all right? 
and the container is maintained at a particular atmosphere or you can see inert it is maintained at a particular inert atmosphere and a particular temperature also one contained rotated at high speed around a central axis so the particular balls are rotated so these steel balls are rotated at a particular uh, speed so that the milling gets easier so this is a very easy step of mechanical grinding moving with that so talking about more about the subs uh, about mechanical grinding so you can see a real time machine of mechanical grinding on front of your screen so this is how it looks so it's a huge setup you can see so there's a lot of things that they uh, makes uh, it needs it is required to make a mechanical grinder so control rotation speed and duration of milling and grinding we have materials a material is recovered into fine powder so the material so bigger size particle almost gets converted into a fine powder or in nanoscale dimensions so you can see the efficiency or the amount of fineness they bring through mechanical grinding just by crushing the materials through the steel balls also some metals like cobalt chromium and other metals are made nano crystalline using ball meti uh, ball mill so these some materials are made nano crystalline so there are certain crystals small small very small crystals are made so with the metals like materials like uh, cobalt chromium aluminium iron silver you can say so these are some metal uh, materials or metals you can say uh, which are made nano crystalline using ball mill so these are used in mineral dressing processes paints pyrotechnics ceramics so this is the first step of the top down method which is mechanical grinding so moving with that so talking about the second step which is the lithography so in this case so this is a little bit different process than the mechanical step so in this also we try to make nano size particles also so moving in this uh, particular step of lithography let's get dive into this so th it is a water scale micro fabrication process to prepare homogeneous 1d 2d or 3d nano materials so this is also a method of preparing a 1d 2d and 3d nano materials also it's a process of transferring geometric shapes on a mask to a surface of silicon wafer and it's a four step process that combines the advantages of both top down and bottom up approaches so we can see the other uh, like uh, mechanical milling it also has certain steps to perform the particular method so one is the coating so coating is done by silicon wafer or the substrate you can say so it is done with the help of silicon wafer which is coated with a barrier layer or silicon oxide and a sensitive polymer layer applied through spin coating so this is the coating layer which is carried out in lithography which is the first step so moving to the second step which is decomposition which is the colloidal crystal mask or ccm made up of nano spheres acts as a mask which is aligned over resist and the desired material is exposed through pattern on the mask with uv or electron or be uh, iron beams so decomposition takes place so a mask is uh, put over onto the coating plate so when it is coated a mask is put over and over that some light uv light or electron beam rays are shattered on the particular decomposed layer or the crystal mask and next is the development phase so the mask and the exposed region of the resist is removed with the suitable chemicals which we can say developer solutions as well keeping the layer in ordered pattern of the mask interstices so lithography pattern is transferred from resist to the substrate by using chemical and drying plasma etching so there are different methods of recovering it and there are different solutions like developer solutions chemical solutions to derive the lithographic patterns so these are the four main steps which is coating decomposition development and next is the recovery last step is the recovery so this is the second step of top down method so let's just keep this video till here i'll be making more videos of different methods of the top down method so stay tuned and thanks for watching